Hi guys, it's Grace and today I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about what it took for me to be diagnosed with mitochondrial disease. First off, you probably have no idea what mitochondrial disease is and I don't blame you. I had no idea until I was diagnosed, but what it comes down to is mitochondrial disease is any disease that affects the mitochondria, making the cells not work properly. So I have a mutation in my mitochondria, so my cells they um, get damaged and they die off quick because the mitochondria is responsible for making 90% of the energy needed to sustain life. And mine doesn't work right, so all my organ systems are affected. My body doesn't have enough energy to um, properly function. So when I first got sick, well, when I got really sick, I was around 15. But I lived a pretty healthy childhood. Looking back, I had a lot of stuff that really should have led us to think I was sick, but, you know, I was running around, I was social, um, I had some GI issues, and I had pain, it ends up I had small fiber neuropathy and arthritis, but, you know, allergies, I had bad nosebleeds, I had to get my nose cauterized a few times, but that was really it. And then when I got 15, things started getting really bad, I was having heart palpitations, um, I had a lot of abdominal pain. I would vomit tons. My esophagus was bleeding because I was vomiting like sometimes 30 times a day. I couldn't even leave my bed. I was in so much pain. I had headaches. Things got worse. And I was diagnosed with like things like GERD. I had surgery to fix that. Abdominal migraines, cyclic vomiting, gastroparesis, all that. And um, I remained sick. And then I started passing out a lot. And um, I was diagnosed then with POTS cisautonomia, and that kind of summed up everything that was going on. And it made sense. It was the first diagnosis that was pretty accurate. And um, I continued to stay the same for a while, got a little worse, started having a lot of problems like with my urinary tract, um, developing heart arrhythmias, having seizures, stuff like that. But I was chugging along and then I turned 20 and um, things changed that year. I um, couldn't swallow so I went for an esophageal dilation. I've had it done before, you know, I was going in, no big deal. I got propofol like I did so many times before and the thing about propofol is that it is toxic to people with mitochondrial disease. I didn't know I had mitochondrial disease, I had been getting it for years and I was fine with it, but this time my body just had enough and um, I had the dilation, it was successful and I was fine and a few days later I um, went into the hospital because I wasn't feeling well. I was passing out, I was confused, I was just really groggy, my pupils were fully dilated and I remember waking up in the hospital the next morning and I couldn't walk. I was trying to get to the bathroom and I just kept falling and I um, hit the call bell, the nurses came, I remember doctors coming in to look at me and that was all I remember. About two weeks later I started making memories again and um, what had happened was I um, got lesions in my brain from the propofol, I had high lactic acid, I couldn't remember, I had lost a lot of my short term memory, I couldn't walk. I um, didn't really have all my fine motor skills, I had a hard time speaking, I was really sick and um, I was in the hof hospital for two months and I was diagnosed with mitochondrial disease and um, that was the first time I really knew anything about it. I was researching it and I was like this makes sense and I have a lot of diseases that are secondary to mitochondrial disease of course because when your cells don't work right, they're damaged, everything's affected. So I have like a diagnosis still of dysautonomia, um, a small fiber neuropathy, gastroparesis, well, Parkinson's white syndrome in the heart. I have a connective tissue disease called Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. And I could go on for like an hour about all these little diagnoses I have, but everything is caused by the big picture disease, which is mitochondrial disease. So I was diagnosed and I started to do a little better. I got out of the hospital, I was out for one month and then I got really bad again and I ended up having what is called a metabolic stroke. And um, I was in the hospital for another month and then I ended up in a wheelchair for an entire year before I was even like able to walk with the walker. 
and um, I was in rehab for almost three years and I'm doing fine now but it was a whole journey to being diagnosed and that's the case for pretty much everyone with mitochondrial disease it takes years doctors don't know what's wrong doctors sometimes don't believe you that things are wrong and you have a really hard time finding exactly what's causing everything because you have these little things like gastroparesis which is awful but they don't actually know what causes your um you know GI dysmotility most of the time and things like that so I um, am now followed by a great great team of doctors between um CHOP and Good Shepherd and they're great they're wonderful I have nothing bad to say about them and you know it just took a long time and that's how it is so that was just me sharing a little bit about my journey so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon bye